between Shannon's routine and her higher score and Bogan Skies. Shannon had an extra release move and a more difficult dismount. And the tension is starting to build. Can Kim Zemeskel become the first American ever to win the gold in the all-around? We'll be back with her floor exercise in just a moment. Seat 87, Clarice and David Zemeskel awaiting the performance of the floor exercise as the defending champion Bogan Sky leaves the arena. performance of the floor exercise as the defending champion Bogan Sky leaves the arena. Come on, baby. Pay close attention to all of her landings, and most important, watch that second tumbling pass. It's exciting. Let's just sit back and watch. <laughs> not easy being a parent. Let's go back now, watch the tension through the eyes of Clarice Vemesco. Bart, I really think the most important part of that routine was that middle tumbling run. It was so exciting, it added something that she needed to get a big score. Plus the fact that she's such an entertainer. She really sells her routine. A 9987 gold for the Americans and Kim Zamasco. When we come back, we'll talk to Kim, and Betty Okino will go for the bronze. Finish third. Her first ball to 9887. She needs now a 9987 in her second ball.
to tie for the bronze. Carrie, she just might be able to do it at the 91 American Cup. She scored a 10 to win the all-around. She's an impressive vaulter. Nicely done. Stella likes it. And while we await the score on the Kino, Kathy Johnson with a gold medalist, Kim Zemesco. Kim, I know you wanted a medal, and you thought you could win a medal. In your wildest dreams, did you ever believe it would be gold? Yeah, in my dreams, but realistically, I was thinking, you know, going for a silver or bronze. I just can't believe it. I don't know if I want to cry or if I want to laugh or I don't know. I said throughout the entire show that it was going to come down to who stuck all the landing. Did you think that going in? Yeah, that's really important. Um, I've watched a lot of the competitions on television, and that's usually what it came down to. Okino score a 9-9-3-7. She finishes fourth. Zamesco with a gold. Loganskaya with the silver. Bontas with the bronze. And Miller finishes in sixth place. It's a historic event. For the first time, the American National Anthem played for a world all-around champion. Congratulations to Kim Zemesco. For Kathy Johnson and Bart Connor, I'm Gary Bender saying so long from the Hoosier Dome in Indianapolis. A couple of updates on the American women since the World Championship last September. Kim Zemesco has been named one of the ten finalists for the 1991 Sullivan Award, the highest honor in amateur athletics in the United States, which will be announced on Monday night in Indianapolis. Betty Okino, meanwhile, injured her knee in January and underwent surgery. She has returned to the gym and is expected to join Zemesco at the 1992 World Championship. That'll be in Paris in April. Tomorrow, ABC Sports tees off. With right, once again to get another team of America's best female gymnasts back on the medal stand. Over his career of almost 30 years, Caroli has coached 15 world champions and 28 Olympians.